the Hawaii Dermatology Seminar where I'm speaking with pediatric dermatologist Dr. Larry Eichenfield about the evolving story of uh, new comorbidities of atopic dermatitis above and beyond the classic atopic march. Uh, tell us about that. Well, you know, we've known that atopic dermatitis is associated with other atopic comorbidities, uh, asthma, allergic rhinitis, food allergy. Um, but over the last few years, it's become clear that there are some other comorbidities as well. Um, the strongest data now relates to neurobehavioral uh, abnormalities associated with atopic dermatitis. Uh, and um, there are a series of studies now that have looked at attention deficit disorder, and it appears that uh, individuals with atopic dermatitis have a higher risk of development of attention deficit disorder. Uh, the initial data we actually questioned because there are issues about whether fidgety kids who are itchy might just be interpreted to have attention deficit mm -hmm. disorder. And there was a great paper published in JAMA about this. And then subsequently this was re-looked at by Eric Simpson and colleagues up in Oregon. They looked at a very large database of, uh, of children uh, looking epidemiologically at whether children who were recorded to have atopic dermatitis had higher rates of attention deficit disorder. And in fact, they found that uh, that that association was real, and also that children with more severe atopic dermatitis had more of a tendency to have attention deficit disorder associated uh, uh, with it. So that's something that we have to deal with. Um, there's also some evidence about other neurobehavioral issues. Uh, apparently a higher rate of autism in patients associated with atopic uh, dermatitis, so that hasn't been studied repeatedly uh, as uh, the attention deficit disorder has been. And it's been known that um, uh, depression and anxiety uh, can be associated as well as with atopic uh, dermatitis, but that may be secondary to dealing with a chronic disease state. Is there a, a biologically plausible mechanism for the association? Well, you know, these are epidemiologic associations now. Um, there are some considerations about why it may be. Uh, the thing that, probably two big alternative theories. The first is sleep disturbance. We know that sleep disturbance is, a, is very common in eczema. Um, uh, patients are up uh, um, scratching many times. It's something that in dealing with patients, we hear that from families all the time. And that certainly can impact on, on, on uh, the neural development. The other question is whether inflammation itself uh, can be impacting on the developing brain. And that's a, that's a, a neurobehavioral issue. There's certainly uh, uh, inflammation associated with uh, eczematous dermatitis, and, and that's really an unknown, but something that I think has to be looked at more carefully in the future. And for now, how are you using this new information in your own clinical practice? Well, I, I actually use it as yet another reason to try to have my patients and families when it comes to uh, pediatric eczema treat the eczema to the degree that it doesn't impact on the individual and the family. Um, there's a lot of undertreatment of uh, eczematous dermatitis because of fear, really inappropriate fear of uh, side effects of some of the topical medicines that we use. And I try to explain to families that there's really no reason why uh, a child should be walking around with lots of rashes uh, and or up at night scratching, and that this can have impacts to the development of the child in ways that we know and now ways that we know anew. Um, and so I explain to them that the information such as the uh, uh, the new information on attention deficit disorder gives us even more reason to make sure that we adequately control the disease so that uh, an affected individual sleeping through the night and not up scratching and hopefully minimizing the negative impact that it can otherwise have. So it's, uh, it can be an adherence lever. Absolutely. Well, uh, well stated, yeah. So uh, uh, I'll use the information of educating families about uh, ADD uh, to get them to understand how important treatments can be over time.